Welcome back. Joining me now are Ray and Dolores. They both work at NetHealth. And our topic this morning is what to pack on those summer vacations. How are you both? Good. Good. Yeah. Okay, so we are talking about food health. Obviously, we kind of, you know, when we're on the go with kids, we just throw stuff in the cooler. We don't really know what we're putting in there. So what do you guys recommend when we're packing those snacks? Well, we recommend for you to make sure that you're separating your raw foods and your foods that are not raw. So lunch meats, uh, cut melons and stuff like that, you really want to keep them on ice and keep them at 41 degrees or lower. Uh, all your raw foods, you want to keep them in a separate cooler, put them on ice, and uh, that way you keep those raw meats juices from getting mixed with those foods that are not raw. Right, right. And Dolores, what would you say are a lot of big no-nos that people do all the time? Uh, we do this also, and I always try to remember this with family and friends. Uh, anytime that we go out camping or out to the lake or anywhere that we're going to enjoy, I'll, to remember to separate, like Ray was mentioning, separate those items. Anything that is, is not cooked, anything that is raw, make sure you have a cooler for that packed with ice. Anything that is ready to eat, lunch meats, uh, melons that are already cut or pre-sliced, uh, keep them separate in, in uh, another cooler packed with ice. And also very important to remember how long you're going to be out there, you know, the time frame. Uh, if it's hot, if it's 100 degrees, like, you know, this 94, 96 degree weather we're having, I uh, want to make sure that we constantly check the ice. If it melts, get rid of the water, add a little bit more ice or if we don't have access to more ice to make sure the uh, eat the food within you know a few hours two three hours prefer um, sometimes people push it a little bit more four hours five hours but what we want to make sure is that to always remind you guys that bacteria is present and it will grow if it's at that uh, temperature that is not if it's not very cold we said 41 but a lot of you guys in the in the house uh, might not have a thermometer to check that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so want to make sure pack with ice. If the ice is melt, then assume that it's loose in temperature. Assume that it's loose in temperature. Plan on on inviting everybody over. If they're swimming, bring them back. Say it's time to eat. Eat that food, and don't get your family sick. I mean. Uh, yeah. Well, we're trying to prevent that those foodborne illnesses. Right. I mean, what kind of illnesses can we see if we make these mistakes? You can see um, <laughs> salmonella uh, is one of the big ones that we uh, that you can see, uh, along with uh, cleptospora. Uh, depending on what type of food you're eating, uh, can really depend on what type of bacteria is going to grow inside of that food product. So, where can people get more information about how to pack some of these snacks and how to do it? Do they just call you guys there at the front desk? Uh, they can call our number 903-535-0037, or they can visit our website at www dot my net health dot org. Okay, great. Well, thank you both awesome. so much for joining us. No, thank it was you for great having to us. Meet both of you. Yeah,